Hello viewers, welcome back. Now in this lesson we are going to learn what is Kijensen and Tenkensen. Okay, we are going to study components of Ichimoku Kinko Hayo. Okay, and in the components of this system, here we will study Kijensen and Tenkensen. Okay, so my dear students, first of all, now we will go to MT4. So to get Ichimoku Kinko Hai system on my MT4, what we need to do, we will go here in the indicators list. Okay, after clicking on that, then we will go to trend. Okay, and after that, we will click here. Now, here are the default parameters of this system. Okay, we will not change any properties. After that, we will go to colors. Now, Tenken Sen is in the red line and Kitchen Sen is in the blue line. Okay. And here we have three others line also so I will increase their size a little bit okay and then I will press okay so here is the default outlook of this Ichimoku Kinko Hayo system according to the founder of this indicator he says that this is going to tell us market outlook in a single glance okay for the all types of traders, this is going to be very, very complicated. Okay. It looks very complicated. Okay. But for the facilitation of my dear students, we will study this indicator in step by step. We will study all of these components of this indicator step by step. Okay. Now in this lesson, we are just studying these two red line and blue line so what we need to do we will right click on them then we will go to indicators list then we will click here and then we will click here on the edit okay so what we need to do here we will make it none this one also none and this one also none okay and then we will press okay so close so here we can see that now we got two lines, Kijen Sen and Tenken Sen. This blue one is Kijen Sen and this red line is Tenken Sen. Okay, so here I have got two lines. Kijen Sen, okay, this is the blue line. Kijen basically means standard in Japanese terms and this is the blue line which we have seen our MT4. It is also known as baseline or standard line. Okay, basically Kijen means standard. This is the blue line which we have seen our MT4. It is the baseline or standard line. Okay. And here in the Kijen Sen, its value is calculated by taking the average of highest high and lowest low for the past 26 period. Now it could be any period like daily, H4, H1, etc. According to the Hasuda, he is going to give importance to the highest high, lowest low. According to the Western technical analyst, okay, and all the analysts which are from Europe or USA, they emphasis on the closed price of the market of any period, okay. But here the founder of this indicator has given importance to the highest high and lowest low, okay. Like for example, according to the mind of Hasuda, okay, market is going to make highest high and highest lowest low, okay. Like for example, market is going to make highest high here and lowest low here. So he believes that these are the sentiments, these are the conditions, this is the range of the market where is market is ranging, you know, okay, it is moving here then it will come back again it will go up then it will come back again so he believes that market is moving between the highest high and lowest low okay and he has given importance to this for the past 26 period okay now it could be any period like if we are going to take daily candle so from the last 26 daily candles from the last 26 daily candles highest high and lowest low we will take for or that okay so its calculation is done by taking average of highest high and lowest low okay like from the last 26 period first of all we will take highest high 
then we will take lowest flow then we will plus both of these and then these are going to be divided by 2 okay then we will get this value of Kedensen okay and remember that it will be for the past 26 days for the past 26 periods whatever we can say okay so basically Kedensen is the blue line Kijan means standard it is the blue line it is the baseline or standard line and it is calculated by taking highest high and lowest low for the past 26 periods Hasuda is going to give importance on the highest high and lowest low because he believes that there was a time when market was at its peak and there was a time when market was at its bottom so these are the sentiments of the market and this is the range of the market and this range is going to be very very important okay and we can take our calculations for the future from this past range okay now is the Tenkan Sen so my dear students Tenkan means to change okay it is the red line which we have seen on our MT4 and basically some people say it turning line or trigger line also okay so it is calculated by taking average of highest high and lowest low for the past nine periods okay in Kijensen we have taken average of for the past 26 periods here we have taken average for the past nine periods okay then we will get Tenkan-sen value okay so to get Tenkan-sen value we will take highest high then lowest low we will plus them then divided by two and then we are going to get value of for the past nine periods okay so Tenkan basically means to change it is the red line it is also known as trigger line or turning line also and here we have period of 9 to calculate its value we will take average of highest high then lowest low for the past 9 periods okay and then we are going to get 10 consent value now we will go to MT4 and we will see what are the two important things which we are going to get from Kijensen and 10 consent okay so let's start so my dear students here we have two lines okay this Kijensen blue line and red line okay baseline and trigger line in our this Ichimoku Kinko Hyo system now we will see what is interpretation or what is the importance of these two lines so my dear students in a clear trend whenever there is a clear trend you will see a crossover of these two lines okay like here it was a good trend then there was a crossover here here also basically this indicator is used to identify and used to follow the trend okay so all the pairs which are going to follow a clear trend like gold USD JPY GBP JPY okay so all the volatile pairs which have great volume they are going to follow a proper trend like here was a good trend okay here was a good trend also so whenever there is a crossover then there is a clear picture of trend in front of our eyes okay like here here also so its first interpretation is that whenever there is crossover of these two lines baseline and trigger line then market will get a trend reversal okay if it is already in the bullish trend and then there is crossover of these two lines then we are going to have a trend reversal and we will go for a bearish trend if bearish trend already then we will go for a bullish trend okay so whenever this red line is going to cross over this blue line from the above okay 
or we can say when our red line is below this blue line market is going to be in bearish trend like here it was in bearish trend red line was below this blue line okay and market was in bearish trend similarly here also it has crossed the blue line from the above okay and and red line was below this blue line okay so our overall trend of market was bearish now there is cross over here and it was in the above trend similarly here we can see a great bullish trend okay because red line was above the blue line okay market was in bullish trend here market was also in bullish trend here also so its first interpretation is that whenever we are going to have a crossover okay or whenever this red line is below this blue line then market is going to be bearish and when our red line is going to above this blue line then market is going to be bullish okay okay so all right according to the hasuda if we want to get quick overview of the market and this indicator is going to give us quick glance of market in an equilibrium so for that we will see red line is going to be above this blue line in a trend in a major trend like here red line will be below this blue line so it will be in bearish and red line will be above this blue line so it will be a bullish trend now the second interpretation of these two line is that behavior of these two lines upward or downward direction of these two lines whenever direction of these two lines flow of these two lines is going towards the upward side okay then market is going to be bullish like from here in this case we can see that direction of these two lines after the crossover was towards the upward side and market went up and similarly here in this case we can see that their trend was towards the downward side their direction was towards the downward side so after that market came down and we got a huge trend reversal towards the downward side okay but whenever these two lines are going to be flat flatish okay like here in this case so it means that market behavior is going to be sideways so in this case market will be behaving as choppy okay like here behavior of these two lines direction of these two lines these were in the flatish okay and here we got a sideways market similarly here also here also okay in this case also so the direction of these two lines is going to be very very important if direction of these two lines is going towards the upward side that means that market is going to be bullish okay if these are falling and their direction is towards the downward side that means that market is going to be bearish okay but if these are going to be flatish flat okay it means that market is going to behave as sideways market choppy market unconsistent markets so this is the great advantage of this system this trading system this indicator that it is going to tell us that how we can predict our choppy market okay and how we can filter out the noise from our market okay so these are the two interpretations of kejensen and tenkensen okay i am sure that now you have got a full clear understandable concept of it okay thank you so much